Hello folks and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I changed the ABS pump on a Vauxhall Corsa D 2012. Now this pump has failed because it wasn't supplying brake fluid to the driver caliper and therefore the brakes didn't work. Now first of all you want to make sure that the new pump matches your existing one, referring to the serial numbers on both of them, and also ensure the ports are clean from debris. Ok, let's jump straight into it. Locate your pump which should be on the right side of the vehicle behind the battery and firstly remove the cover. Next you want to disconnect the wiring connector by pressing on the clip and lifting the latch away from itself allowing you to lift it off. Ok so here's a better view of removing the connector. It can be a bit fiddly due to the lack of space and I have a um, zero gauge wiring in the way for my audio system. Essentially press the clip and then you can lift the latch allowing you to lift the connector off. Okay so now that you have the connector out of the way you want to get your 11mm spanner and start removing the bolts on the brake line. So using your 11mm spanner, start to loose off all the brake lines and screw them out. But don't screw them out all the way, I tend to leave a little bit screwed in just so you don't have brake fluid dripping everywhere. Ok so I've removed the brake line that I think is uh, causing the problem. This is the one that leads to the driver side caliper and as you can see there is no brake fluid coming out of it and it's completely dry. Ok so now you should have the brake line nuts relatively loose and you can move on to the two 10mm nuts that hold the pump um, in place. Now you don't have to take them off completely, just loosen them enough so you can slide the pump off. Okay, so the pump should now be loose. Um, all you need to do is just maneuver the pump out of the vehicle, just move the brake lines out of the way. They will be dripping, so be quick with this process. And you just need to replace it with your new pump that's working. Okay, so a quick tip for you guys what I'm doing here is I'm putting some brake fluid onto the rubbers, just allows it to slide on a bit more easier. Ok so now all you need to do is just screw all your uh, brake lines back onto the new pump. Just make sure they're screwed on properly and you're not causing any damage to the threads. Just do them hand tight for now. Obviously be quick with this procedure as you've got brake fluid leaking everywhere. Um, once it's hand tight you can then move on to tying them up with a 11mm spanner.
okay just make sure you tighten up the nuts that hold the pump on place make sure they're not too tight where you're cross threading it but just enough to hold it in place Okay, so now we attach the wiring harness back into place. Just push it in, make sure it's seated properly, and then move the latch towards the other end of the car, and it should lock in place. Okay, so just give the area a good clean, remove any excess oil that's been dripping, and lastly, don't forget your cover, so it just pops right on. Okay, and that wraps up the ABS pump replacement. Hope you guys found this video helpful, uh, just make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Peace!